As dawn strikes the Capitol Dome, a city of 540,000 souls stirs into life. It is the beginning of another day, another day to be torn from the calendar of time, but a day not to be forgotten, for the camera has recorded that day's drama and the beauty and the comedy of the streets. The camera lens is focused to capture the spirit, the personality of the city of Washington, and so through the day from dawn to darkness to interpret in the form of shadows that movement, that restless stirring which reflects the character of a city as the face of an individual is said to reflect the soul. Washington has again become a war capital as in the hectic days of 1917, 1918. But today there are no colorful uniforms to be seen upon the streets, no tramp of marching feet to be heard, or rumble of caissons. For this gigantic conflict is not with the armed forces of an alien foe, but a war on depression, and the forces are economic. It is a battle to put men to work, Everywhere, as in every county of the 48 states, evidence of the government's vast works program is seen. But now the weapons are the weapons of industry. And when the war is over, as all signs now indicate it soon will be, Washington will emerge a happier and more beautiful city than ever in bygone days. Meanwhile, the populace proceeds calmly about its business, mainly the business of government. The civilian forces behind the battlefront, carrying on to the victorious conclusion of the war.
long shadows of evening fall on the capital of the mightiest nation on earth, a capital city the beauty of which bears testimony to the foresight of the fathers, testimony to the valor with which they fought the good fight against the forces of depression as against the forces of an alien foe. Another day passes into history, bringing America one step nearer to that goal which must spell victory, economic victory, and a happy and prosperous people guarded in its right to economic and social justice.